hello guys and welcome back to another modding tutorial in today's video we will be installing um the red dead redemption one mod menu which is rdr mod menu this mod menu was made by jedi josh um and we'll be installing it on xenia um and just before we do start the video i want to make sure you guys understand that this usually only works for the ico game of the uh, game of the year edition file i will link it in the comments um and i've also linked it before in my other uh, videos comment section which i also wanted to mention that i've done a video on how to install xenia and red dead redemption 1 uh, with xenia on my last video so you can go ahead and check that out if you already haven't anyway let's get right into the video Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to need to do is we want to go ahead and install uh, WinRAR or you can install 7-zip, it's up to you. But all the links will be in the description by the way. We're going to go ahead and install WinRAR first. Once it'll take you to the site, go ahead and find your language. So I'm English and my PC is 64-bit, so I'm going to click on 64-bit next to English. Go ahead and download that. Go ahead and open it. Click yes. Click install and click OK done and then next i should have winner installed we want to go to the go file bit here we want to go ahead and download both of these the tools and the rdr mod menu okay we'll start with tools click download click save then we can click on rdr mod menu click download click save now once we've done that we can close that can go ahead and go to our downloads here and then we're going to go ahead and open the Xenia file this is what we did from the last tutorial guys so this is where we got to so it's going to be the same as last so i want to go ahead and put these somewhere so i'm just going to put them where my red dead redemption 1 ico file is located so i'm just going to go ahead and move them to here and delete that Okay, once I've got that here, I'm going to go ahead and extract them with WinRAR, as you see. Just go ahead and click on it, right click, click WinRAR, click extract, and then it'll go ahead and extract it. You can delete that. Go to tools, do the same thing here. Right click, WinRAR, extract to tools. You can delete that. Now we have both of these. If you go ahead and click in the RDR mod menu, and click on it again you'll notice that we have ps3 and x360 x senior is for xbox so we'll be using this one okay uh, and you'll also see a modded file i've already made in there we'll put stuff in here later for now you can just leave it alone anyway what we're going to go ahead and start with is we want to go ahead and go into the tools file and then go in here again click on xbox 360 tools xbox backup creator Go ahead and click on the Xbox Backup Creator, right click, run as administrator, click yes, and it'll give you an error, just click OK, and then it'll pop up here. So for now we can close that. In here, once it pops up, click on image tools, click on image browser, it'll pop up with this here, click on file, click on open image file. Right, now we want to go ahead and open up the ICO file which is our game again please use the game of the year because everything else you can try test it but i've already tried other ico files and they didn't work so I recommend the game of the year i'll link it in the comments click on it click open okay then you'll see some uh files in here click on the rdr2 underscore layer zero dot rpf don't click on the one click on the one with the zero then go ahead and extract then go ahead and extract it, uh, extract it somewhere. But what I've done is if you go into the RDR mod menu, RDR mod menu, go into the modded folder that I created for you. You can go ahead and put it in there, but you can put it anywhere else you want if you really want to. Anyway, once you're here, click save, okay? Now it's going to go ahead and extract that there for us. Shouldn't take that long. Once it's done that, you can go ahead and go to file, exit, and close out of that. Now go ahead and go back into our files and head to the 
add the mod menu, add the mod menu again, go into the modded file. Now you should see that we have the RDR2 layer 0 the RPF. We're going to go ahead and modify this file with the actual mod menu now. So what we're going to go ahead and do for that, head back to Red Dead Redemption 1, go to tools, tools again. Now go to magic RDR and then you'll see an application called magic RDR. Go ahead and open that normally. Uh, don't worry it's completely safe just click more info click run anyway now it's going to go ahead and open up so it's opened up just click on file click on open go to desktop and just locate wherever your game is okay and then go to tools sorry go to add your mod menu add your mod menu again go to the modded folder and now we're going to go ahead and modify all that rdr2 underscore layer zero the rpf that we've recently extracted click on it open it once it's opened you'll see a bunch of files in here what we want to go ahead and do is we want to go to the content file click on it then we want to go ahead and go to release click on that then we want to go ahead and click on scripting uh we're going to open this a bit more so we can see um and then click on designer defined then ui okay then you'll see a file in here i cannot i cannot pronounce that <laughs> so just click on it for me and right click on it go ahead and extract uh extract the file and put it into the yeah into the modded folder Right, once you've put it in there, what we want to go ahead and do now is want to go ahead and replace the file. Um, actually, before we do this, I want you to go ahead and go back to your file explorer. Go to tools. Sorry, go to add your mod menu. Add your mod menu again. Go to modded. Um, and you see we've just extracted that in there. So what we're going to do with this one is we're going to rename it to um at the end you can rename it just to something else so underscore or which is original do that uh go ahead and go back add your mod menu now go to the x360 folder here you'll see the mod menu file go ahead and copy that for now go ahead and copy it then go to the modded and paste that in here okay paste that in here once you have that in here as you can see we've named the original one to underscore o with the mod menu one we want to go ahead and rename that one to the original name of that one so we're going to go ahead and copy it except from that bit do not copy the underscore or just this bit okay go ahead and copy that just that bit go to the mod menu and rename that to the original file name okay once you've done that refresh go back into the magic rdr now we're going to click on this again we're going to right click we're going to replace file we're going to click these dots here now the modded version should be named just like that one click on it open click replace it should go green once it's done now we can go ahead and right click again we're going to click import file we're going to click on this we're going to import the original one called that we renamed to underscore o okay this is going to be our backup just in case if anything happens go ahead and click on it click open click import now once you've done that we can go ahead and save this so go to file go to save go to current click yes just give it a minute to write all the files once it's done just click ok and click yes now click file and click close click yes now you can close out of it once we have done that we're going to go back to red dead redemption 1 go to tools go to tools again go to the xbox 360 tools 
now go to the xbox backup creator folder now we're going to reopen xbox backup creator remember run this one as an administrator click yes it'll give you an error but that's fine just click ok and then it'll pop up once it pops up click image tools image browser click on file open image file go back to your game red dead redemption 1 add your mod menu add your mod menu depends where you put this go to the modded folder um oh sorry we're looking for that uh ico so go back find your red dead redemption game of the year edition your ico go ahead and open that now it'll give us the files again now we want to go back to the rdr2 underscore layer zero dot rpf click on it right click on it click replace now go back into the rdr mod menu again go to the modded now this is now our modified version so that we extracted earlier right when i click on this the rdr2 underscore layer zero dot rpf as you can see it's the same name click on it should be in the modded or wherever you put it then click open let it look let it load right once it's loaded up um click on file and click on exit once you've done that you can go ahead and close it now once we have done all them steps if you followed correctly now we should go ahead and launch the game and we should have the mod menu so click on red dead redemption 1 and just go back go to xenia folder or wherever your canary is located or xenia is located go ahead and click on that and go ahead and open the xenia right you can full screen it click on file open go ahead and open your ico file so make, hopefully it's the game of the year click open now you can go ahead and click f11 to go into full screen which i'm going to go ahead and do go ahead and get your xbox controller and wait for it to load and as soon as we get into the game guys we will have the mod menu okay guys so once you get into the game um you should have already heard the music when you were loading up um uh, to open this menu up you can go ahead and click on r1 plus the right d-pad that will go ahead and open up the g jedi josh 920s rdr trainer um but as you can see and here there is a sound glitch on this menu you cannot fix this sound glitch unfortunately but every time you close the menu using b it will just stop the sound so you gonna have to cope up with that but yeah the menu is pretty cool it has a bunch of options as you can see um audio options camera options player options weapon options teleport options you know a bunch of options here you can use mess around with and yeah it's a lot of fun to use this menu uh, but yeah if you did enjoy this video and it did help you in any way um i'd really appreciate if you could subscribe and like as it helps me out as a small content creator but anyway guys uh hope you enjoyed the video hope i helped you out and i'll see everybody later goodbye